Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is Q3 of the recent contest, a magnetic force between two bars. Uh, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. And yeah, so for this problem, um, to be honest, when I first started working on it, uh, I didn't know how to figure out, like I thought, okay, maybe there's a dynamic programming solution. I think there is, to be honest. But then when I looked at the constraints, it was like, okay, N is 10 to the fifth. Uh, so that's 100,000. Every position could be 10 to the ninth. So usually that makes it not dynamic programmable, but it's not easily. Um, so the first thing you should do, and I looked at this, uh, so I'm really thankful that they have uh, an input like this on the example because I might not have remembered to sort, to be honest. Uh, so then I remember to sort because why would you not? Sword, right? Uh, and then behind that, um, I'll be honest with how I came up with the solution uh, versus like, you know, just I think sometimes people, you know, when you watch other videos by other people, they'll just be like, hey, this is the solution, but they don't tell you how they came up with it. Um, for me, how I came up with the solution is a little bit of a uh, cheating, a little bit of guessing and YOLO um, in that I look at these constraints, I'm like, okay, so I knew that it has to be at at the worst time n log n um, and position is slow enough that or big enough that you can't really do anything based on the position so there are only really two possibilities uh, for me to think about it uh, one is greedy um, if it's greedy then then you know there may be some property that you play around with and you're like okay then you just squeeze it in uh, the other is, is binary search or something similar to binary search and after you sort the position um, it reminds me of a, another problem where, uh, or similar problems uh, in, you know, there were just similar problems that it reminded me of. And that's how I came up with it. Uh, and the idea is that, okay, now that we sort it, and now that we're given um, uh, a spacing, like, okay, let, let's say there's, you know, X space between, you're, you're forced to use X space between, uh, or this is the force, I suppose, uh, between positions, how many balls can you fit? If you could fit enough balls, then you're good, uh, and then you try to get more. If you cannot, then well, then you need to uh, uh, make the force smaller, right? Uh, and and because you're trying to get the min minimum magnetic force uh, with the maximum, that means that um, the most you can go, oh sorry, the minimum you, oh sorry, the max you can go is that for x that you put in. So that's basically my idea. Um, and I, I, um, I did this dyna uh, binary search for that. Uh, I vote, I do a search after position sorting. Uh, then head and tails have, to, or you know, your your range for your searching will have to be between zero. Uh, I guess technically one, but. Uh, thankfully, it didn't matter. Uh, and then the position, which is your large number, right? Because, you know, that's just the, the constraints because it's between 1 to 10 to the 9th. Um, and then I just do a binary search. This is straightforward. Uh, and for binary search, I always have to think about a little bit of like, okay, if this number is good, then we move uh, the head to good. Uh, because if mid plus 1 is good, that means that we want to keep that into the, in the range of good possibilities, so we move head into the mid plus one. Uh, if he, this is not good, then we want to eliminate mid plus one, so that means that it goes from head to mid, right? So that's kind of how you do it, um, uh, how you visualize the binary search. That's how I, I visualize binary search. And then we just have a quote-unquote good function, which is, okay, what we said earlier, given a given x, Given an x, um, we want to go from left to right for all these positions, and then um, we want to have at least x between every ball. And that's pretty much how I solve this problem. Um, let me know what you think. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. You can watch me solve it live during the contest. N next.